and we are recording. All right, what's fly to Falcon Games here, here with? Well, I don't know what to call this. Uh, as you can see here by the trailer and by the title and the thumbnail, probably um, the new Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch has just come out, or at least the trailer for it is as of recording this. Okay, let me check on my phone. It's been about an hour now since it's been released. Let me double check real quick, like on my cellular device. Um, and it's been two hours. It's been two hours since the trailer first came out. So basically, what we're gonna be doing today is just taking a look at the trailer in all of its glory. Um, it is, I did put it at the speed of like 0.25, um, just so like, I don't got copyrighted, because I know like King Nappy has had a lot of problems with that, so we're going to slow it down, and there should have been a disclaimer at the beginning of the video, so hopefully we don't get copyright striked for any of that, but let's go ahead and jump right into the video, so as we start, we start with Nintendo Switch, but if we jump ahead, we have start off of what is Pokemon Go. So, as you see, we have Pokemon Go. That's the first thing. Actually, I'll explain this more <coughs> as we get further into the video. Um, as you can see, some kid playing Pokemon Go, um, and he just gets on his bike, and then he looks up, and oh my god, is a Pikachu. I know. And it was, it's just him running a little bit to his house, Nintendo, and then the kid going into his house. And then Pikachu and the kid running into their living room. There's what it looks like. And as you see, he's got the Nintendo Switch there. He gets down, he gets all comfy, ready to play a game. I'm just trying to find the little spot. Okay, wait. So Pikachu then jumps into the TV. And now we are finally going to see the first looks of what is going to be what looks like a good game. This is this is the new games. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So um, what this looks like is what we're gonna do is we're gonna be going back to Kanto. Um, that, Cause that looks like a more like kid version of Red. Um, so it looks like we're going back to Kanto and we're obviously gonna have um, just Pikachu and Eevee now. As you see we're probably getting, I guess, Green and Eevee. That looks like Green, I don't know. <laughs> That looks like a more modernized green that you have with Eevee. And what we see here is just them running around, which actually looks really clean. Like, it looks like sun and moon, but with, like, the X and Y sprites. Which, I'm not too mad about that. I actually kind of like the, the, um, I'm sorry, the, um, X and Y sprites a little bit more. Um, yeah, it looks like, this looks like some more of the beginning of the game, where we meet Professor Oak. And then he'll give us the Pokedex. Um, this is one thing I thought interesting. You don't need to actually. We need um, one controller or Joy-Con, I guess. I I don't even own a Switch yet. I'm sorry, sue me. But it looks like we don't even need a um, controller or anything. We just need one Joy-Con. What it looks like. <clears throat> and, okay, I'm sorry. It's 12:30 when I'm recording this. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that right there, I'm actually kind of digging. But as you see right there, it looks like that is clearly more Pokemon Go-ish. And I don't know how it feels. This is where the whole Pokemon Go kicks it later. Uh, so yeah, as you see the simulation, basically if Ultra Sun and Moon was like in at Pokemon Go. Uh, so yeah, he, this kid catches a Pidgey, and it's just a montage of them catching new Pokemon. And now, this is where it gets interesting. Um, basically what it says is you can take two joy count sticks and you can play with friends. Like another friend, I guess? I don't know, that looks interesting, but I guess if your other friend is there, I, I guess it's only, you can only play one Switch then? Because clearly these two, um, which we call it, it's like, that's the girl character, so I guess her friend had to play as the male character? Or um, at least that's what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Oh. As you see, they both have a Pokeball. And this is like the weird thing though, like what I'm confused about. Oh, but it's like, I feel like it's really cool at the same time, like you can throw two Pokeballs. And I guess this is like a crit capture? I have no clue, but this, this little scene right here, I thought, 
was really cool. I will go into more depth about this later. Um, yeah, it looks like quick caption, just more gameplay footage of just playing together. And oh, here, no, I want to go back, I want to go back. This, this is the, what looks like the battle scene for, um, what, 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 what I guess is a new game. This, honestly, might be Nugget Bridge. Not 100% sure. But, oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. god excuse me. This is what seems to be Mega Bridge. I actually like how they kept the little animation with the little Pokeball thing. Like the line comes out and gets the Pokemon. But, um, yeah, that looks like. I'll go more into depth about the uh, battle animation there. But this is one thing I thought was really cool what they're doing. We can actually, like, play the game with a Pokeball. Like, it's a legit Pokeball, I guess you hook up with the Switch, which is really cool. Uh, I. I, I like I like that a little bit. I don't know, I don't know if I could do that forever though. Uh, that's just neat. It looks like we can just play with a Pokeball. It's basically the same thing. Which I think this is really cool, but like, at the same time, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so yeah, more just catching Pokemon. Oh, and uh, this I think is it, is it there yet? Uh, okay, I guess it's just synced to it. It'll say when we caught a Pokemon that'll like link up. Which look cool. We actually get to see pause real quick. A look at the Pokedex, which actually looks really cool. Like I'm digging that. I'm digging that Pokedex, but I mean I'm not complaining. And this one looks like this oh no no no. Here's where it is. Okay, so basically I guess depending on what version you have, whether let's go Pikachu or Eevee, you can I guess take your Pokemon for a stroll where the Pikachu or Eevee, your starter, will go into this little Pokeball. And then it's like you walk around with it. I don't know if that'll be like. Uh, uh, uh. Um, I don't know if that'll be like. Like. Poke Amino to increase happiness or something. I, I honestly have no idea. Um, but um, I thought that was a little interesting thing right there. I did not mean to pause. Here's where things get a little interesting now. We can connect the new Pokemon games with Pokemon Go. So as you see here, back to this guy playing Pokemon Go. Which I actually get, actually if you've been following my Instagram, which links always in the description below, um, you'll see I've been keeping up with Pokemon Go. I'm starting to jump back into that. I'm hype. Oh, um, excuse me. Oh, I got this. Oh, oh. Oh, I am tired. I don't care how unprofessional that is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically, I guess this will be a new feature. Actually, let me check. I don't think this feature has been added in yet. I don't even know why I'm checking. But I'll check Pokemon Go. But I guess you can connect your Switch and Pokemon your phone to Pokemon Go. And there's a new thing called Go Park. Where I, I guess this guy's got all of his Pokemon from Pokemon Go. Or maybe that he's sent. And apparently we can send gifts, though, between... Uh, the game into, into, into Pokemon Go, which is really cool. And honestly, if we can do that to like get Pokeballs and stuff, that would be really cool. I have no clue how this feature is going to go though. Um, but yeah. And, uh, uh, oh, my goodness. oh, I'm going to play your way. So yeah, I guess. And this, 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 boys. This, boys, I think after 20 years, Pokemon's finally given us what we've been asking for. And I'm not gonna lie, that looks like the coolest part to this whole thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's more of connecting Pokemon Go to the Switch. And here, here actually, it's like customization, like little outfits. Um, for Pikachu and Eevee, and we actually also get a look at what looks like Team Rocket, which I'm not gonna lie, we actually get to use the outfits though. We get the Pikachu and Eevee in battle, which is actually cool. That looks like the Rocket headquarters, and then what with the Eevee, looks like Saint Anne. Uh, I have no clue, and just a few battle animations, and if you're born. <sighs> Magikarp. Balancing, and then 
this more Pokemon to use in different attacks. <clears throat> um, and, ooh, this, this, you gotta, you get to look at this. <clears throat> oof, oof, this, this boys. That, see, that looks so badass. Oh my god, I love this it's so much. That, oh, that's beautiful. That was a beautiful scene right there. Um, so yeah, the next is more footage of just the puck game in general. Alright, so that was the trailer for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Now that we're towards the end, I want to go ahead and just break down the trailer then. Alright, no, no, what, what do I mean? Like, I don't even know how to even break down. Just like going, looking at certain points in the video, just making sure my mic and everything is still sync. So, let's go ahead and make this larger so I don't have to. Uh, first thing I want to talk about though is. Actually, where is it? Not here. Uh, I just want like, a good little option of it. Mm -hmm. oh. It's a nice little. Thing, I guess we'll get it like right around here, right around here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> this is what we're gonna talk about first. So first, I just want to talk about. <sighs> well, first, my thoughts on the game. Honestly, I think this game will be promising if it's not a mainstream Pokemon game. Like, if, like, I don't know if that makes sense though. And actually, I was checking Pokemon Go for to see if we have the connection thing, and it looks like it's not connected yet. Uh, because I know it was it just updated a little bit ago, so I don't much call it. It's like, but my thoughts on the game itself, um, as long as it's not a mainstream like i was saying i am 100 okay with it but i really don't hope, i really hope this is like the mainstream like now you can connect every version to or at least on the switch to pokemon go because i'm not gonna like that like i like it if this is just like hey we're still working on generation a so here's a game and we have all these features now that you can do with this game but like i don't want it to be like permanent like this is okay like intro to the switch and i guess i can see them connect you can be able to connect it to go probably because like they've put so much time into pokemon go so it's just like they probably want to like expand it more like get people playing their game a bit more which i can 100 percent see but i really don't want our games like for just our regular pokemon games to connect with the Pokemon Go app because I just that's no like that's not how Pokemon started. I like Pokemon Go as like a spin-off and this is like just a spin-off just like giving 20 years now we've had Pokemon and now it's just like we get to revisit Kanto and everything and we get to connect it with a game that everyone's played. Um one hundred percent that's okay but I really hope that if there is a generation eight game after this that it does not have the same feature. Because that will suck now um, I don't know how far I'm gonna get uh, I, I will be doing a discussion video with some of my friends uh, and that'll come up it'll be more in-depth than what I'm doing right now because it is tw it is 1230 well, now this this was just being able to ride Pokemon and it looks like you get to walk with Pokemon that I am so hyped for I'm sorry I like this feature in hard goals or silver not as much to the point where I was like oh game freak give us this feature back now but just for the fact of seeing this now it looks dope like oh this looks beautiful i love that i just want to point that out um which one? Uh, oh my goodness oh more yawning um now this uh the uh, two player action i mean I don't know, I, I'm kind of meh, like that's how I am with this whole game right now, just meh. Like, I like it, but I'm not favoring it, like, oh my god, this is about to be amazing. 
Like, I, I don't know, like, I think this is cool that we're able to connect Pokemon Go and we're actually able to connect with friends here, but it's like at the same time, you have to be with your friends. It's not like we can connect via Wi Fi and play together. No, like, we have to be in the same room. And I just, who likes doing that? So, I mean, yeah, then just the whole, um, what do you call it? The whole Pokemon Go catching thing? I. T I mean, I guess since we can connect it to Go, I'm alright with it for now, but at the same time, it's just like, why? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I don't know how I feel. feel too much about that. Um, where is it now? Yes, the Pokeball thing. That, I actually think, is a pretty cool idea. It's a pretty good idea. And actually, I just realized that there's CP right there. No. Please, no. Don't make this be a ripoff Pokemon Go for the Switch. Oh my sweet lord, it please don't, Game Freak. Oh my god. <laughs> I really hope they don't do this. Excuse me. Um, but, yeah, please, Game Freak, don't. <laughs> they said this isn't final. I mean, I'm liking this, though, the whole battle animation thing, and actually, where is it with the Nugget Bridge? Um like over here somewhere yes no maybe no is this still go park all right we still on pokemon go um all right but i don't know wherever the battle animation was um it's somewhere around here wherever that was though i'm actually completely okay with that i actually really dig that like personally i think that looks really cool um yeah i just really I just really hope that this isn't like a Pokemon, a way to get Pokemon Go back in the media. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna like that Game Freak. I'm not gonna like that, like, we're, we're coming back, because Pokemon Go, they do have Gen 2, which has been out for a while, it's been out for a little bit, and uh, they actually have Gen 3 out now too, which is hype. So that's probably what they're aiming for, honestly, to try and get Gen, like just their Gen 3 into the media but i mean other than that i have no clue um this is one i know i said on instagram i'm gonna do more in-depth like thing of this and this is actually almost 20 minutes so i mean but i will be doing a little what you call it another video with friends just basically getting their thoughts on everything so far that's been shown but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the hell out of that like button. Subscribe for future content. And especially if you want more Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee action. Because I will try and do more of that as we get stuff. But I don't think we'll get much because it looks like it's just re revisiting Kanto. And um, yeah, I will be doing more in depth with my friend. Um, but yeah, subscribe for future content. Check out all my social media. I will be posting more on Instagram and Poke Anim Animo, especially with all the new stuff coming out. So make sure to follow me on that, and you will be up to date, especially on Twitter too, with channel updates and everything. But other than that, I have nothing else to say. Since I'm Falcon Games, I'll see you all next time.